Peggy 16. When Scorpion's family were killed by Sub-Zero, not even death could stop Scorpion's lust for revenge. So what happens when that unstoppable warrior enters the world of injustice? We ask the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon, and the creative co-lead of DC Comics, Jim Lee. This is what they had to say. Well, a lot of people don't realize that the Mortal Kombat, everything in terms of those things has been rooted in comic books. The big events in my childhood were all related to comic books. So as we made the first Mortal Kombat game, we actually made a comic book to introduce the story. We felt that in doing a DC game, you know, to have a guest character who was kind of rooted in comics seemed like a kind of natural fit for the game. I love Scorpion because he really has powers that are very unique and I think is a really good fit in the DCU in that we don't have characters like him in our universe. I mean, we have characters that are reborn or uh, from the nether realm, but they don't have that, that essential part, and that's being a ninja. I think that's the cool combination of the two. We certainly thought that Scorpion belonged in the gadget character. You know, he can't lift up a car like Superman, but he's very agile. He's a ninja. He can jump all over the place. So that seemed like a natural thing. And then we kind of uh, had to dial down the blood. So the uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, once we did that and kind of got all that stuff out of the way, he he w it was surprising how how natural of a fit he was. And then again, his costume, you know, you know, designed by Jim here was just that just made him visually kind of fit into the big picture that much better. Whenever I redesign anything, and obviously, you know, I knew that you would be seeing the design, of course, and so that adds a, another level of pressure. But I, I basically Googled every version of the costume. And then I actually Googled like real scorpions. I'm sure that your designers did the same and try to think of other ways to bring those visual elements to a design, but still being true to what you guys had done. So I kind of envisioned a kind of a scorpion skeletal kind of armor overlay on top I, of the character. I love that design. Oh, you, thank you, thank you. When we saw the design of scorpion with the scorpion on his chest, you know, you know, part of us was like, oh, why didn't we think of that? And then <laughs> another part was just kind of like, what a fantastic way to, uh, to, to get him. And just, just the idea of having Jim uh, design one of our Mortal Kombat characters is just such a perfect full circle moment for us. The thing is, uh, you know, Batman is the, well, I mean, you've said it yourself, I mean, he's the guy, if, if you give him six months to prepare, he can take, <laughs> take down anyone. But uh, Scorpion, can he truly be killed though, really? If you put them together, you know, me, I've just, you know, growing up with Batman, um, it's, I think it would be a little arrogant to say that a character I was helped in in creating would beat Batman. So I'd have to say Batman if I had to choose one. You cannot harm me. Apparently I can. Yeah.